today I'm going to show you a really easy way to get a good looking glitch effect and glitch transition in Movavi Video Editor Plus. Let's take a look. I've said this before a few times, but I am a huge fan of glitch effects, glitch transitions. I, I just love them. I love the way they look. They match my personality quite well. But that being said, I typically shy away from creating them from the ground up in most NLEs because I'm just not a visual effects guy and creating them from the ground up and making them look good is something that I have always struggled with. I'm still practicing, I'm still learning, but it's I typically end up buying a preset if I really want a glitch transition in a video. But in Movavi Video Editor Plus, it's a little bit different. They've recently added some new filters to Movavi Video Editor Plus that make it super easy to get a good looking glitch effect. And with a little bit of work, you can turn that glitch effect into a glitch transition. So today, we're gonna take a look at those filters, we're gonna do a glitch effect, and we're gonna step it up a little bit, and we're gonna do a glitch transition. But first, huge shout out to Movavi for sponsoring this video. If you guys wanna check out Movavi Video Editor Plus for yourself, there is a link in the description below, along with a discount code for 20% off. Highly recommend you check that out if you're looking for an affordable, easy to use yet powerful NLE that'll give you a ton of features. And with all that being said, let's dive into Movavi Video Editor Plus. I've got some clips lined up here and ready to go. They're all in my media bin. These are all the clips that were in the sequence that you saw at the beginning of this video. They are all downloaded from ArtGrid, which is where I get all of my stock footage. If you wanna check them out, they're also linked below along with a discount code that'll give you two free months on an annual subscription. I've got the first clip of this sequence already in the timeline. It's just a guy meditating. The camera is pushing towards his face. And what we're gonna do is add a glitch effect somewhere on this clip. But before we do that, let's jump over to our filters and into noise and take a look at the filters we're going to be using. First up is broken lens, which is kind of that RGB split look, which is really important when you're creating a glitch effect. Next to that is is distortion high and distortion low, which is that like wobbly liney effect that some of you who are old enough to remember VHS tapes might remember. This is what happens when film starts to degrade and get old, you get this. I used to get this on my old VHS tapes all the time. It drove me nuts. It like broke my heart when my favorite tapes started not working right. Anyway, moving on, I digress. I ramble a lot, can you tell? Other than that, the other new filters that we're looking at are static high and static low. Static is basically the digital version of the distortion effect. It's got the pixels and the bars that go across the screen. Also something that's very popular when it comes to creating a glitch effect. So what we're gonna do is combine all these to create a really good looking glitch in our first clip. So first thing we need to do is actually separate the clip. We're gonna isolate the part of the clip where we want that effect. So I'm going to come over, maybe come down to, I think we're going to start this at like the two second mark. Go ahead and make a cut. And then what we're going to do is do like maybe a quarter of a second. This is just going to be like a little, a little blip that we're doing here. So we're going to bring that up to 2.25. I'm going off this time code right here in the bottom left of the playback monitor. Go ahead and make another cut. And then we're going to make sure that that little section of footage is the only thing selected. And we're gonna come into our filters. Gonna go ahead and drop broken lens and distortion low. Go ahead and play that back to see what it looks like. And that's good, it's a, it's a little bit of a bump, but I wanna see more of that RGB split. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click on that little clip. We're gonna come to Applied Effects and we're gonna drop Filter Distortion Low down to about 50%. And we're going to bring Broken Lens all the way up to 100%. And we're gonna play that back again. 
That's much better. I like that. It's nice and quick. It's just supposed to be a little, like I said, a little glitch in the system, a little, like something's not right here. And that's kind of the whole premise of this sequence that I created. Just there's something not right going on in this guy's head. But did you see how easy it was to create a glitch effect? I mean, we just made a couple cuts in our footage. We dropped a couple of those filters in. We played around with the settings and we were done. That's all we had to do. So now let's take it up a notch. We're gonna use that same method with two extra steps. Actually, we're gonna do two extra steps and we're gonna create a glitch transition. So let's go ahead. First thing we wanna do is actually trim this down because I don't want it to be as long as it is. So we're gonna make this be about three and a quarter seconds long, right about there. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new video track. In order to do that, we just right click over here on the left hand side, go to add extra track and click on add video track. Now let's come up to our media bin we're gonna grab our second clip, which is of the meditating guy, still meditating. This is a close up of his face. I'm gonna drop that in here. And we're gonna come back about a quarter of a second. We want this to be at about three seconds. There we go, three seconds right there. And what we're gonna do is we're going to make a cut. We're gonna bring our playhead to the three second mark. We're gonna make a cut in our bottom clip. And then we're gonna select our top clip and we're gonna bring this to just past the end of our bottom clip. So we'll go to 3.26, make a cut. For some reason that brings this up a little bit higher. I'm not sure why it does that. I don't know if that's a bug in Movavi or, or what. It should just stay there, but it doesn't. Who knows, but we can still work with this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna deselect everything by just clicking anywhere in the timeline. And what we're gonna do is select both of these small clips. Let's go ahead and click that first one, hold down control and click the second. And we're gonna come back to our filters. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do broken lens. We're gonna do distortion. Let's say distortion low again. And this time we're gonna add in static high. And what we're gonna do is we're going to once again come to applied effects. We're gonna bring broken lens all the way up. We're gonna bring distortion down to about 50%. We're gonna double click this bottom one, do the same thing, applied effects, broken lens to 100, distortion down to 50. And then one thing I forgot to do is we need to come back up to this top clip double click it again. We're gonna bring the opacity down to about 50%, maybe a little bit higher. That looks good right about there. Let's go ahead and play that back and see what that looks like. Perfect. In fact, one thing I might wanna do actually is take away, let's go back to applied effects. I think I wanna take away the filter distortion completely well, let's see what that does. Let's go ahead and take it away from this bottom clip as well. Let's add it back on to the top one, I think. There you go. We've got ourselves a glitch transition. I'm absolutely blown away by how easy it was to, to do this. And with just a little bit of music and a little bit of sound effects and some more pieces of footage, you can create a sequence that looks just like this.
Once again, if you want to check out Movavi Video Editor Plus for yourself, I would highly recommend it. It's linked below. It's just amazing how easy it is to create some of these effects. And this isn't even the full extent of what you can do with the glitch effect. You could do something like, I don't know, add in the split screen effect to take it even a step further. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, that's okay. I've got a video for you right there. You should definitely go check that out. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that'll help you become a better video editor, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.